What's going on guys? So we got some more information today as I was going through some of the abacus data polling that was released yesterday. I also found the federal vote intention, right? So this says the conservative party leads lead grows to 26 points if you look at the vote intention of only those certain to vote in the next election. So out of all of those who are certain to vote, 46% of them are going to vote conservative. That's a that's up plus 3 since they did the last poll, which I believe was in late August. Liberals 20, NDP 20. They're essentially at a they're at a virtual tie right now. So I guess what Jugmeet Singh is he's doing is he's it's actually kind of working for people who were already on the left. But the Liberals still had, you know, a considerable amount of support than they do, but now it's, you know, I mean, it's listen, it's not going to be enough for Jugmeet Singh to win the election, of course, but he is doing something to finally take some of Liberals the Liberals and Justin Trudeau's support away from him over to the NDP, which is uh, kind of interesting. That being said, I mean, the, the, Pierre Paul Yeb, his momentum just keeps growing and growing and growing. Uh, British Columbia is about to have a uh, an election, a provincial election, and there's a decent chance that a conservative wins. British Columbia. Think about that for a second. Super NDP slash liberal BC. The last time the conservatives were the conservatives had a premier in BC was in 1929. That's almost a hundred years ago. And you're seeing the tide switch very quickly, especially considering what the NDP has done to British Columbia with the Safe Supply Act and all that garbage. It's not working. It's creating more drug abuse, more homelessness. The crime crime rate is skyrocketing. They're letting people out of prison way before they should be. It's insane. You know, and that's why, you know, a lot of people on the left don't like Pierre Polyev's slogans. Oh, he's just about slogans. Well, the slogans make sense. Jail, not bail. Axe the tax. It's what we all want, guys. We want people who hurt people to be in jail. And I don't mean hurt people's feelings either, liberals. Okay, I'm talking about like physically, you know, assaulting someone or worse. Most people just don't agree with those policies anymore. And the tide is changing in a big way. Not to mention, federally speaking... British Columbia is also going over to the right. I also have a <laughs> some uh, nanos polling information. So let's go down here a little bit. So from nanos polling, it's a sample size of a thousand people, which is you know fair. Forty two percent conservative, so they have them down a little bit. NDP twenty two, Liberals twenty two. This is super bias super liberal Nick Nanos, who's also friends with Justin Trudeau, by the way, even he has him in third place. And if you look at the polling in terms of the seat breakdown, the liberals, uh, sorry, where did I have that? Right here. So the conservatives 223, NDP 47 seats, liberals 38, block 32. They're close to being in fourth place, even according to Nick Nanos. I was also looking at a poll. Let me see if I can find this here. This is very interesting as well, where it showed. Oh, maybe I didn't repost it. Well, either way, it, it basically showed like a, an electoral riding map of the um, of all of Canada. There's only one riding west of Quebec that is liberal. I think it's a riding in Toronto. It's the only like safe stronghold they have. And again, they also thought Toronto St. Paul was a safe stronghold. <laughs> How'd that work out, right? I don't think they actually have any strongholds. They're going to keep some seats, of course, but they're going to lose. I mean, they might they might lose upwards of 110, 120 seats by the time all is said and done. People in Canada are unhappy. They're very angry, and they should be. Although the mood apparently has changed a little bit. You know, people are a little bit more hopeful. Well, that's because we're about a year away from election or less. So we know that even though it's getting really bad right now, it's not going to continue that way because we can get this asshole out of here in under a year. Maybe a year tops, but either way, hopefully it happens soon because we need to we need to start rebuilding this country. Pierre Polyev is right. Canada is broken. Immigration policy is horrible. Tax these taxes they keep bringing in are horrible. Our crime policies are horrible. These are all federal laws, which means it's a federal problem, 
that Justin Trudeau has to create or that he created and now he has to fix it. But we all know he won't. He thinks he's doing a good job. And so it was more on MPs. And now apparently Karina Gould has come out and said that the conservatives have violated their charter of rights. It's like, first of all, and again, let me know in the comments, I haven't heard of anything relative that in, 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 from any mainstream media or any individual journalist reporters i haven't heard them doing anything like that so again if, if you guys maybe i missed something if you guys know what she's talking about please let me know in the comment section but first of all it's like okay maybe she's just lying second of all who are the liberals to complain about infringing on people's charter of rights are you kidding me locking people down freezing their bank accounts trying to put people in jail for protesting oh i'm sorry are your feelings hurt and now that means your charter of rights hurt i'm sure that's how liberals think right just pure emotion no logic my feelings are hurt therefore my rights are infringed on it no they're not idiot what you did what you supported during the lockdowns that was infringement on people's rights Invo invoking the emergency act i mean it, it, the liberals are just basically flushing them down the toilet ourselves down the toilet it's really strange You'd think they'd be able to read the room by now and switch up some of these ridiculous statements and policies and you know stop lying so much and stop pretending that Canadians like you and actually realize what's happening and turn things around. But they won't because they're far left globalists. But then again, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Let me know what you think of all these numbers. I think they're very interesting. Uh, please also don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow this channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.